welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of the Health Insurance Store webcast podcast. Uh, we recently did make the transition to webcast from podcasts. Uh, my friend Steve, who has been walking me through this, I turned and looked at him. He's, he's supervising today, so I, if I get a little nervous, it's because I got a I got a guy watch me over here. But Steve Barber from Unit Four Media has uh, get me all set up in the 21st century here. Uh, with all this latest technology. So bear with me, guys, because I got a face for radio. I get it. Um, so if you don't want to see me, you can just listen to the audio and not watch the video. And we're going to talk about how you can subscribe to uh, webcasts and podcasts here at the end of the show. For those who haven't tuned in before, my name is Aaron Zolbrad. I'm the president and founder of the Health Insurance Store, LLC. Uh, we've been around. We just celebrated our 13-year anniversary in April. What we do is we do all things health insurance. Um, we're here today to talk about Medicare, but we do uh, individual health insurance. If you're a small business owner, we do group of health insurance. If you own a business and want to provide uh, benefits to your employees, which I think is a, a great idea. And uh, really our bread and butter for the 13 years since 2008 has been Medicare. And that's what we're going to talk about. And that's what a lot of our webcasts focus on. Um, again, for those of you who also don't know this, I do a column every Friday in the Post-Gazette. It's called Ask the Medicare Specialist. It runs Friday on page A2 in the Post-Gazette and Tuesdays on page A7 in the Trib. And what we've uh, been doing is we've been doing webcasts or podcasts and we review the question we received. And that's what we do. We get a question um, from somebody in the community. We answer that question in the paper, um, but I'm limited on space there. So what we've been doing is we've been going over those weekly questions in the webcast or podcast, and so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, if you'd like to get a hold of us via phone, if you have questions, 724-603-3403. The website is www.getyourbestplan.com. You can also follow us on Facebook. Uh, just type in the health insurance store, and you can find all of our uh, stuff on either Facebook or our webpage, our podcast, our webcast. You can get quotes. You can ask for a... a um, an agent to come see you, but let's get into the question that we got. It, it's from Randy. So the question is, I recently went on Medicare for the first time and chose a zero premium HMO Advantage plan. Did I make the right choice? Well, here's the answer. So first off, there are several uh, zero dollar Advantage plan options available and virtually every company on the market that offers Advantage plans, and there's seven of those um, entities in Western Pennsylvania has one. Here's the thing, they're not all created equal. And that's for sure. Um, so without knowing what company's plan Randy chose, I wouldn't be able to answer that question definitive. So let me present some questions. Let's put forth some scenarios and give some examples of some groups I feel may possibly make an error when choosing a Medicare Advantage plan. So before you decided on making the choice you speak of, Randy, if I were talking directly to you, were you also given the Medicare supplement option? Do you know the differences between supplements and Advantage plans HMO? So if you answered no to either one of those questions, you made a really big mistake right off the bat, in my opinion. I mean, you've got to know the difference between Advantage plans and supplements. And getting an education on those is vital. And I estimate that I'm going to say 75% or more people we meet for the first time who have Medicare Advantage plan HMOs or PPOs don't realize their plan isn't a supplement and it's not designed to pick up the portion that Medicare doesn't play. So let's talk about supplements first. Okay, supplements are also known as Medigap policies, which is the perfect name for these for, for a supplement, aka Medigap. It's designed to pick up the gaps that Medicare don't pay, doesn't pay. So Medicare Part A is your hospitalization. It pays all of your hospitalization except for $1,408. So if you're in the hospital between one day and 60 days, your portion of your bill with just original Medicare is $1,408. A Medigap policy, a supplement, will come in and pick up that $1,408. Part B is your medical. Part B covers is basically your outpatient procedures and services. A Medicare, original Medicare covers 80% of that. A Medigap policy would come in and pick up the 20% that Medicare doesn't pay. So those who have supplements have little or no out-of-pocket costs. Advantage plans don't work anything like that. What happens is when you choose an Advantage plan, when you choose one of these seven entities, these private companies that offer HMOs and PPOs, Advantage plans, you are choosing to privatize your Medicare. So instead of Medicare doing what I just explained, paying the fourteen hundred eight, uh, uh, paying your hospital bill minus the fourteen hundred eight bucks, paying the eighty percent of your outpatient services, Medicare instead is going to pay the private company you've chosen eight hundred dollars a month 
and for lack of a better way to put this, they're paying them 800 bucks a month to get rid of you. They're paying that private company to become your one and only insurance company. Medicare gives them 800 bucks a month and is basically done with you. Hey, don't call us. We've done our job by paying them $800. It's their job now to provide you with health insurance, and they're going to pay all your bills. And here is the asterisk, the fine print, or what you need to know. We're paying them. They're going to pay all the claims minus your cost sharing. So you're going to share in the cost of almost every services. So other than your preventative services, other than maybe a primary care visit, which are generally, you know, no cost or very little cost, um, some small, some some prescription copays, and maybe a couple other things that might not cost you anything, you're going to have a copay for virtually every service. So we're supplements, we're not going to pay for for much, if anything. And Advantage plans, we're going to have copays for doctor visits, blood work, x-rays, CAT scans, MRIs, hospitalization, surgical procedures, chemo, radiation, skilled nursing facility, et cetera, et cetera. Some of those copays are very small, $5. Some can be very large, depending on what services we're talking about. Chemo, skilled nursing facilities, a, a high-dollar piece of durable medical equipment, infusion therapy, other than chemo, those can be in the thousands of dollars. So can hospitalizations on the wrong plan. Um, so that's the main differences between, you want to go back and look at uh, other, listen to other podcasts, read my columns in the newspaper. We talk about the differences all the time, but that's it in a nutshell. Our number one goal with new clients is making sure, and clients who want to come back and review, because sometimes they forget. We get this all the time. Oh, well, I saw an ad on TV, Joe Namath was on. He said, you know, I can get free rides and, and gym memberships and um, all this other stuff. Why, why isn't my plan offering that? We bring them back in. We have to explain it again. And our number one goal is with especially new clients and current clients who have forgotten is we want to make sure they understand, they fully understand both advantage plans and supplements, how they work. And this includes difference in monthly premiums, how much you're exposed to out of pocket, to medical bills, access to doctors and hospitals is different, how claims are approved and paid is different. There are stark contrasts between the two. So we want to make sure that people understand that. It's hard to make the best decision when you don't understand the differences between the two. Again, I can't tell you how many times when people come in, I say, what plan do you have? Oh, I have XYZ and Medicare or XYZ, HMO and Medicare. Well, no, you don't necessarily really have both. You just have the one that, you know, you just have an advantage plan that's paying the bills. And I say, it's not a supplement. It's not designed to pay the portion of the bill Medicare doesn't. They say, well, what is it then? And that's when I have to explain to them. Um, again, I like, to, I like to say this every time. I'm not anti-advantage plan. We really like advantage plans. About four, 35 to 40% of our Medicare clients are on advantage plans. Again, it's just important you understand to make sure you're making the right choice and to make sure you're on the right advantage plan. Um, it's fine to choose one again. Uh, once you weigh both, you know, both benefits and options, the risk they present. And when our clients want to go with an advantage plan, we 99.9% .9 of the time recommend plans that are six or that are less than $60. Okay. The number one reason why you want to choose an advantage plan is the opportunity to save between $500 and $1,500 a year in premiums. Okay. That's what the whole concept is. If you stay healthy for a long enough period of time, relatively healthy, you can save four, five, six, seven. You know, I have a scenario in one of my other webcasts that we really, uh, you should watch that we actually give some scenarios of who can really benefit from advantage plans and how, you know, if you stayed relatively healthy, and we, we talk about these scenarios where somebody can save, you know, close to $10,000 over a, if you take advantage of all the ancillary benefits, somebody could save close to $10,000 or more with an advantage plan over a five or, you know, over a five-year period. Um, so again, you talked about a zero premium plan. That's one of the four plans we like. We like plans that are zero dollars. We like plans in the 20s. We like plans in the 40s. And we like plans in the 50s. Uh, dollar a month range. Um, and if you choose the right one, they can be really, really a great value. Um, another question I have for Randy or for anybody else in his situation. Did the agent or representative that if you called a company directly, which we really don't recommend you do, um, did the agent you work with take into consideration your personal circumstances, income, your health, veteran status? Are you eligible for PACE or PACENAT? All of this and more can can really be determined what I might advise somebody to do when choosing a plan. Uh, there's actually one zero premium plan that's designed for people who can get their prescription drugs elsewhere, veterans, um, people who have PACE or PACENET, 
Uh, it has the lowest maximum out of pocket of any plan in the marketplace. Uh, maximum out of pockets can range from 3,400 to 6,700, which we're going to talk about here a little bit more. But this particular plan has the lowest on the market of 3,400 and has some outstanding low copay. So if you are a veteran, if you are on pace or pace net, and you don't have a zero premium plan or you do, you might want to consider this one. Again, you can give us a call and we can talk about that. Um, another question. Did the person who sold you the plan compare it side by side to with those from other companies with similar or smaller premiums? Or do they just go over plans with one company? We're brokers. Okay, we talked about this in the, in the intro. We're, com- we're our, uh, licensed or we're, we're appointed to provide plans from virtually every company on the market, every competitive company on the market. That ensures you unbiased advice. So we're not, you know, I don't care whether you take company X, Y, Z, uh, or A or whomever, we're getting paid and they all pay us pretty much the same amount. But when you're dealing with um, somebody who only sells one product, they don't get paid unless you buy that company's product from them. So you may not be getting the full picture. So you got to make sure that you're, that you're um, doing that. Um, plans with similar or higher premiums often have can have copays that are hundreds, even thousand dollars or more for the exact same medical service, which sounds completely illogical, but it's extremely prevalent with Advantage plans. Uh, especially when it comes to hospitalizations, chemotherapy, and skilled nursing facility. We meet people all the time that are paying 150 175 200 bucks, and if they want up in a skilled nursing facility, they could pay $3,000 more than somebody who's got a, uh, a $20 premium or a, you know, or a, or a $40 premium. Uh, that it, it, again, it's very, very prevalent. In, in, in trying to do this on your own, um, you know, it's not the best way to go about it. We don't charge for consultations. Remember that. So whether you want to just call us over the phone quickly or you want to set up an appointment to sit down or in a Zoom meeting with somebody, definitely we, we obviously encourage you to do that. We don't recommend plans that have copays that are generally, we generally don't recommend plans that have copays that are on a per day basis. So in other words, some zero premium plans have, uh, and these are fewer, that have a copay per stay. So in other words, whether I stay one day or I stay 20 days, it's one price, maybe $300, $350 uh, in that area. There are other plans that can be charged you per day, $200 to $350 per day from five days to up to six days. So we see it's, it, oh, I'd say over half of Advantage plans have copays for a five-day hospitalization or more or four, four-day or hospitalization or more of 1000 to 1800 bucks. When you could have a plan, you know, maybe for – a few more dollars that could limit that to 300 or 350. That might be a really wise choice for you to go. And then we talked about the MOOP. The MOOP is the maximum out of pocket. That represents the most money you can pay in a calendar year. On the low end, it's 3,400. On the high end, it's 6,700. Obviously, we want to limit that. If we can get you on a plan that makes sense for you, has all your doctors and network, and we can get that on the low end, we'd like to do that. Um, again, there's only two plans on the market today, guys, that have that 3,400 MOOP. Um, there's a couple that are on the on the lower end of the four thousand, um, but generally the average is around five thousand to fifty five hundred right now. Uh, but obviously, again, that's our job to help you get plans that are on that low end. Um, another issue that a lot of people don't look at, they're just looking at the you know some other stuff. Did you compare copays for prescription drugs on the plan you chose to others? There are some plans that have zero copays for tier both tier one and tier two drugs. If you were taking six tier twos. At eight bucks a piece, that's forty-eight dollars a month over a twelve-month period. That'd be over five hundred dollars you would pay for medications that you wouldn't have played with another plan. So maybe it might make sense to pay a little bit more to lower that to lower those drug costs. Again, all of these things are something that there's no owner's manual for that somebody's not telling you. I guess you know, listen to these podcasts, watch our webcasts, and and we'll help you with that kind of stuff. And once you become a client, we're going to make you aware of what's going on every single year. Um, that's another thing I want to talk about really quickly. Just because your plan was good in 2020 and was the best plan doesn't mean it's going to be the best plan in 2021. One thing that can Advantage plans can do that supplements don't is they can change your benefits from one year to the next. So this year, we've got lots of plans, our most popular plans, it's about $300 per stay in the hospital. Well, next year, there's no guarantee they might make it $300 per day for the same exact medical plan. For the same exact plan, your premiums might not go up. They might even go down a couple bucks. But if you had a five-day hospital stay, it could go from $300 per stay to $1,500 per stay for a five-day or longer stay. So we always make sure our clients know what those exact changes are every single year. We send them a letter. We say, here's your plan. We e- Here's your changes. We're either going to recommend you stay there because we still think it's one of the best plans, or 
we're advising you because of these two or three changes or just one change, we're going to recommend that you go. You're re we're going to recommend that you move. Sometimes it might be, hey, you might want to consider this. Um, if you want to stay where you're at, you're fine. This year, from 2019 to 2020, we had a company that had a hospital copay of $175 a day, maximum of three days, so it could only be $525. They changed that to $350 a day, up to four days. So the same four-day hospitalization that cost $525 last year was $1,400 this year. And we didn't just say, hey, you might want to consider. We told our clients, you do need to leave, make an appointment, and we'll go over your other options. Lastly, were you made, Randy and anybody else in Randy's situation, were you made, this is the biggest risk of Advantage plans, people, of taking one. We really like Advantage plans. We really like the value of them. Here's the thing. Were you made aware that if you choose an Advantage plan, that after you've been enrolled six months to a year in that Advantage plan, you may never be able to purchase a supplement again if you have a pre-existing medical condition or if you're diagnosed with something down the road. Again, number one risk in choosing an HMO or PPO, as far as I'm concerned, um, I go over this aspect. I, I will go over this aspect again in detail uh, in our next podcast, our next webcast that I want you to watch. Um, again, you can read about these in the columns. But supplements can discriminate in Pennsylvania and in every other state except for eight. They can discriminate against you based on your current or previous health conditions. If you have COPD, if you have AFib, if you have an autoimmune disorder, if you have, have, uh, have lymphoma, which is a cancer that goes into remission but never goes away, uh, and several other conditions, there is not a company that will take you back. They won't take you. You're too big of a risk for them, and you just can't get a supplement again. So some, you know, some people think, oh, I'll just take a zero premium plan, and if I get sick, I'll just move back to a supplement. doesn't work like that, unfortunately, not in Pennsylvania. Okay, so keep that in mind. Again, the number one risk, you can take an Advantage plan. They can work really well for people. Again, I can get I, you watch my next pod, my next webcast. I'll give you a scenario where where people that just stay even just re relatively healthy can save a lot of money. But you are taking a risk that you could end up sick um, and never be able to go back and be out of pocket uh, thousands of dollars year after year. So just keep that in mind. If you'd like to speak to myself or another agent uh, and get a second opinion regarding your current plan, we want to give we give us a call. Uh, many people can still make a change now. So a couple couple things. First, you can make changes now. There's lots of people that can prior to the open enroll or uh, annual election period. That starts October 15th and runs to December 7th. We also encourage people if you just want to get a, you know, just sit down before annual election period, even if we know you can't make a change and you go, boy, you know, I've had this plan for six years and I've never had it uh, evaluated. You know, you want to come in and just sit down and let us look at it side by side and show you, you might even be able to do better within the same company. You know, it's, it's, it's very common for people just to keep the same plan year after year after year, especially when they've been healthy and haven't seen major, you know, haven't had any hospitalizations or things of that nature. You don't want to be blindsided by that. So take, you know, come on in. We're, we're, we're not real busy this time of year. In October, it gets really, really busy. Right now is a great time to kind of do like a, like a pre, uh, a pre check, so to speak, before annual election. So you're kind of ready. You have it up here an idea of what you want to do, and then all we need to do is see what the plan, change, plan changes are, and you can make that decision. Um, call us, 724-603-3403. Email is my email. If you want to send me a question for a future column or, or any other uh, questions or concern you have is Aaron at getyourbestplan.com. Aaron at getyourbestplan.com. And getyourbestplan.com is also the website. I want to quickly show you how you can subscribe to some uh, our webcasts or podcasts. So here is our website. If you see the website gallery tab in the right-hand corner, which I just clicked, it's going to come up. You just click that subscribe button and you'll subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, if you are not a webcast person, you like to listen to things in your car as you're driving, you don't want to look at my ugly face. I get that again. Uh, you can click on podcast gallery, same thing there. Now, normally I've already subscribed myself. So I can't subscribe, but right underneath where my picture is that you see there, there's two pictures underneath the bigger picture um, will be a place you subscribe. You enter your email address, and then you will get email updates when we uh, record new podcasts. And we have several coming out in the next few days, so uh, podcasts and webcasts. So, again, please stay tuned for that. We always appreciate um, we always appreciate everybody uh, listening in, tuning in, watching me. I want to wave goodbye to everybody. I want to tell everybody with the uptick in COVID cases, please be, please be safe. Please be smart. 
and we hope to see you really soon. Thanks again, folks. Thanks for listening, folks. Join us again soon as we interview those on the front lines of healthcare, health insurance, Medicare, and our ongoing prescription drug crisis. My name is Aaron Zolbrod, and we look forward to helping you get your best plan at the health insurance store.